Hey guys, um, I haven't done a video in a while, so I think I'm just gonna do an update today. Oh, I went to my bag. I made a couple changes. Uh, let's just get this towel off of there. First with my putter. It's the same putter. I was thinking about getting a new one, but then I started putting fine with this one again. It is a Cleveland Classic design. Number three. Toe heel face. Half shaft offset. 70 degree lie. Th three degrees aloft. Or not three degrees aloft. Yeah, three degrees aloft. Um, one thing I did do, I tried to take the grip off with air and the tape I used is really, really sticky. So it didn't come off as good. It actually blew up when we tried to take it off because I wanted to cut the shaft down. And I still haven't cut it down. But instead, I kind of rigged something up on my grip. I put tennis wrap on my grip just to make it bigger and to make it softer. There's no, it's not flat on the front, but I like it. I've been putting good with it. So I think I'm going to keep it on there for a bit. Like I said, it's just tennis wrap, and it was $5.99. My wedges, I took out my sand wedge, and I'm only going to carry three wedges for the rest of the year, because in Provincials, I played absolutely terrible with it. So I got a 46, 52, and 58. So I go six degrees aloft there. Uh, my two real wedges are by Cleveland CG12 DSG grind. Uh, with the RTG finish and the zip grooves. Wow, they're sweet wedges. Uh, my irons, three to pitch and wedge now. Instead of four, I put in the three iron when I took out the sand wedge. Uh, the Wilson Staff FI5s. Like always, eight, nine to pitch and wedge or blades. Muscle backs, really nice. Uh, the grooves are still wicked on them. I got them checked again and they're I'm thinking about getting them grooved to the U to the USGA standards. Um, this is my seven iron cavity back. All my irons have my initials in them, except for the three iron because I haven't stamped it yet. And all my clubs have Lampkin cross line grips, cord grips. They all have lankin except for my three wood and my three iron. These are my three and my four iron look like this. As you can see, I haven't stamped the three yet. A little bit more of a blade than most of the other clubs, but they're still pretty sweet. Uh, S300 shafts in the wall. The grip on my three iron, I just wanted, I didn't really want core because I didn't know if I was going to keep using the three iron. It's a Black Widow Tor Silk. Basically the same as the Tor Velvet from Golf Pride, only it's about six bucks cheaper. Uh, it's actually not a bad grip. I don't think it's going to last very long, but it's nice and soft. I think I'm going to put another one on once this one wears out on my three iron. On uh, my hybrid, I got, I got it adjusted. It's uh, still the Ping G10. It says 21 degrees. I got it opened up to about 19 and 3 quarters. So it's almost like a 2 iron. And I got the shaft lengthened uh, half an inch. So it's 3 quarters of an inch longer than it's supposed to be for steel or for the graphite for this loft. And I did take the graphite out and put a steel S300 super light shaft in it. So it's a lighter stiff steel shaft. Lamp and cross line cord grip. I might be getting a five wood here soon. A friend of mine has a, f a Wilson Staff fiber that the shaft broke in, or a Wilson Staff five wood that the shaft broke in. So I might be putting a new shaft in that. He might give that to me. But three wood, still the Titleist 906 F4, 15 and a half degrees. Nothing's changed. YS6. Plus fairway shaft in it. Just a stock tightless grip upside down. 
and my driver Titleist 905R 10.5 degrees graphite design YS6 shaft in it it says regular flex even though I should be hitting extra stiff I have it tipped about an inch at the head and a half of an inch up here and then it's lengthened with a steel segment up here three quarters of an inch so it's only like a quarter of an inch off like shorter but that makes it about in the center grade of a steel sh of a stiff shaft um, Lampkin Ender grip this grip is probably what I'm going to be using for this driver for the rest of its life I'm going to put another one on it and might put one on my three wood it's got four it's got four wraps of tape on it and then it's got an extra wrap on the top or extra wrap towards the bottom halfway up so it's thicker uh, yeah, there's a couple scratches in the head, but I'm going to wax those out. Uh, looks, looks good at a dress, classic pear-shaped head. Uh, I'm not getting a new one. And I think that's about it. My alignment sticks. I'll just show you a couple things I got in the bag now. Just got my water bottle balls that I've been playing. I play a lot of these Pro V's. I get a lot for free because they got people at my course that drive the, the mowers, the workers. I know them all so they give me all the Pro V's that they find. But the ball, oops, sorry, the ball that I've been playing for Provincials this year, these balls are awesome. I played the Wilson Staff FT Tours for golf balls this year. Uh, these balls are every bit as good as the Pro V1 in my mind. But they're they're about ten bucks cheaper. I'm down. There's how I mark it. The blue D for my last name because it's Dunphy. Wilson Staff they're taurourethane. These balls are supposed to make up for the spin. They have what's called traction control. I don't know if you can see that. I want to focus. No, anyways. But they compress more on the face than most pro than most balls. And they're put head to head with the Pro V1. And uh, they're said to be probably just as good. Uh, on this side my pocket with my keys in it. I got a little container that I keep my ball markers in. It's actually a chewing tobacco tin, but it's a nice chewing tobacco tin. And I have my ball markers in there. A couple nice big ones. And uh, that's what's in my bed. Comment, rate, subscribe to Nick Whitey Fan 14. And uh, also, comment, rate, subscribe to Pure Swing TV, TV and Andrew R7 Golfer. Thanks.